Well, earlier this week, the Australian Academy of Science released a new report which highlighted the lack of basic science knowledge in Australia, especially among young adults. The survey found that three out of ten Australians think humans lived with the dinosaurs and an alarming number of people don't know how long the Earth takes to orbit the Sun. It's a you year, do. by the way. <laughs> but one young Australian who has no such problems is Sydney High School student Dmitry Brizhnev and he's just returned home from Denmark after winning a silver medal in the physics category of the International Science Olympiad. Rachel Papazzoni donned her lab coat for this chat with Dmitry. Dimitri, thank you for speaking to the ABC and congratulations on your award. Mm, thank you. Was it a tough competition that you were in? How many people were you up against? Uh, well, there's a five-hour experimental examination and a five-hour theoretical one, which is designed by the country that hosts the Olympiad. Uh, the theory is there's usually there's several questions which involve some kind of situation where mm, you have to first figure out the physics behind it, um, form an equation, and then you know, fine, solve it. And there was one question on the movement of Greenland ice. Uh, one question was about producing energy from silver particles suspended in water. And the last one was about the movement of asteroids in the solar system. Uh, the experimental examination is usually, uh, it'll, it has some sort of equipment that is provided. And you, you might either simply be asked to find your own way to measure some piece of information. Other times they'll tell you what measurements to take and you have to figure out how to take them, you have to take them properly, figure out how to do all of that and then um, yeah, figure out what to do with them, like plotting them on a graph, doing the calculations, things like that. The one we had this year, it walks you through a lot of what you had to do in terms of actually using the equipment. So it was mostly just doing calculations and yeah, physical reasoning. Uh, there's about 400 people there's around 80 countries with five-person teams, but some of the countries, like China, we don't even stand a chance against. Um, and then there's others that are about on our level. So we're sort of, we, our goal is always just to sort of try to do um, better than we usually do, which we, this year we managed to do better than Australia usually does. So we're sort of competing with the people who are about our level. And there's some countries that usually do worse. You were part of Australia's team of five and you were clearly the best out of those five. How did that feel? Uh, well, actually, it was, it was somewhat of a relief because we've already gone to the Asian Physics Olympiad and we had approximately the same results. And uh, I guess I was hoping that I would be able to do that again. Uh, but otherwise, it feels good to be able to prove to myself that I can do this good physics and, yeah. Is science something that you've been interested in for a long time? Yeah, it's, it's always been, even before I went to school, I would read books or, you know, look at, we had children's encyclopedias and things like that. I was always very interested in science. What is it about science that is so fascinating for you? Uh, well, I really like, I like understanding how things work. I like understanding the world, and science is the way we understand the world. Um, um, I've, I've always been more interested in physics than, say, biology, because um, biology uh, sort of, Biology understands specific examples, while physics tends to understand the underlying principles. But they're all quite interesting to me. You've won this pretty amazing accolade now. Is that going to catapult you into your future? Where is it going to lead you? I actually, I'm planning to study computer science, probably. Although I think I'll keep doing some physics at university as well. But I'm, I'm really happy to have done it anyway, because I've learned physics that I might not otherwise have learned. Um, uh, with the particular the medal, I I don't know, I'm just going to keep that and that'll be my memory. Have you had a chance to speak to your classmates here? Are they really excited for you? Yeah, everyone's been congratulating me. Uh, I think, uh, I like to think that they've enjoyed it as well because I've been able to bring back some of the physics that I've learnt, which is often a lot more interesting than the physics we do in school. Um, at least one of them I know wants to maybe do physics at university himself and he's sort of, he's very interested in what I have to say. This week we've heard in the news about Australia's general scientific knowledge being... Is it something that Australia needs to work on? I think it, it's, it's, it's always worth working on because particularly in our modern world, as kind of science is, is such a big part of our lives and our technology, I think it's worth for everyone to kind of have a, some good understanding of science, uh, of the way our world works. Dimitri, thank you so much for speaking to the ABC and congratulations again on your award. It was a pleasure. Dr. Carl, eat your heart out. Yeah, certainly.